If you've been struggling to lose weight after 50, the problem isn't your willpower or even the number of calories you eat. According to Dr. Sten Ekberg, a former Olympic decathlete turned holistic doctor, the real culprit is a single hormone, insulin. Most people don't realize this, but when insulin stays even slightly elevated, it blocks fat burning around the clock. No matter how healthy your meals seem or how many steps you take, your metabolism is locked in storage mode, not burning mode. And here's the shocking truth. 99% of people trigger hidden insulin spikes several times a day without knowing it, sometimes just by eating foods in the wrong order, snacking late at night, or drinking the wrong beverage. Each spike can shut down fat burning for hours. The good news? You don't need extreme diets, endless workouts, or expensive weight loss drugs. There's a simple insulin trick, backed by science and echoed by experts like Dr. Ekberg, that can flip your body back into fat burning mode. And tonight, I'll show you exactly how to use it. Here's the hidden problem every time you eat, your body has to decide burn fat or store fat. And that decision is controlled almost entirely by insulin. When insulin spikes, your body is forced to shuttle glucose into your fat cells. Instead of burning stored energy, it locks it away. The more often insulin rises, the less access you have to your own fat reserves. That's why so many seniors feel hungry all the time, even when carrying extra belly fat. Research shows that even one wrong food order, like eating bread before protein, can raise blood sugar and insulin by up to 40%. High evening insulin makes things even worse. It keeps your body in storage mode through the night, leading to stubborn belly fat, morning fatigue, and even higher risks of diabetes and heart disease. This is why controlling insulin isn't optional. It's the foundation of lasting fat loss and healthy aging. To understand why this insulin trick works, let's look at the science. Insulin is your body's storage hormone. Whenever you eat carbohydrates or even too much protein in one sitting, your blood sugar rises. In response, your pancreas releases insulin to move that sugar into your liver, muscles, and eventually your fat cells. Here's the key. When insulin is high, your fat-burning switch is turned off. Think of it like a seesaw. On one side is insulin and storage, on the other is glucagon and fat-burning. You cannot burn fat while insulin is up. It's biochemically impossible. Studies confirm this. People who manage their insulin effectively experience steadier energy, better appetite control, and faster fat loss even without changing their total calorie intake. That's because stable insulin allows your body to access stored fat for fuel instead of locking it away. There's also a link between insulin and another hormone, cortisol, the stress hormone. When cortisol spikes, it drags insulin up with it, leading to even more belly fat, especially visceral fat around the organs. Dr. Sten Ekberg often explains that visceral fat cells have twice as many cortisol receptors as regular fat, making the midsection especially sensitive to stress and insulin spikes. On the flip side, keeping insulin low for long stretches, through meal timing, food order, or even short fasts, activates powerful fat-burning hormones like growth hormone. In fact, one study found growth hormone increased by over 1,000% in women and 2,000% in men after a 24-hour fast. The science is clear. The lower and steadier your insulin, the faster and easier weight loss becomes. Now, before I share the exact insulin trick, let's clear up the most common mistakes that silently sabotage your results. Mistake number three eating carbs first. Most people start a meal with bread, rice, or potatoes. The problem? When carbs hit your system first, blood sugar spikes sharply and insulin follows. This single habit can keep you in fat storage mode for hours. Mistake number two, late night eating. Finishing a meal or snack too close to bedtime is one of the fastest ways to raise nighttime insulin. 
Instead of allowing your body to detox and burn fat during sleep, you're forcing it to digest food and store energy. Just one late snack can disrupt fat burning the entire night. Mistake number one, relying on diet foods. Low-fat yogurts, energy bars, even so-called healthy cereals often contain hidden sugars and starches. They trigger insulin as much or sometimes more than desserts. Many seniors unknowingly sabotage progress by trusting labels instead of looking at the ingredient list. These three mistakes alone can block fat loss even if you're eating less or exercising more. The good news is that by flipping them around, you can instantly reduce insulin spikes and finally unlock your body's fat-burning switch. So, how do you actually flip the insulin switch and put your body back into fat-burning mode? Here's a simple five-step checklist you can start tonight. Step 1. Start your meals with protein. Studies show that eating protein first, followed by vegetables, then carbs last, can cut the blood sugar and insulin spike by up to 40%. A simple change in food order makes a massive difference. Step 2. Keep carbs under control. Aim for fewer than 100 grams of carbs per day. And if you want faster results, drop closer to 50 grams. Replace those carbs with nutrient-rich proteins and healthy fats. This keeps insulin lower and more stable. Step 3. Try a 12 to 16-hour overnight fast. You don't need extreme fasting to see results. Simply stop eating three hours before bed and let your body rest overnight. This alone lowers insulin, improves sleep, and boosts fat burning. Step 4. Move after your biggest meal. A 10- to 20-minute walk after dinner can lower blood sugar by 20% and insulin by nearly the same amount. If you can't walk, even standing calf raises for a few minutes will help. Movement pulls sugar into muscles without needing extra insulin. And when you combine these five steps, you stabilize insulin, reduce fat storage, and finally allow your body to burn its own reserves. Think of it as training your metabolism to work for you, not against you. Here's the big takeaway. Weight loss after 50 isn't about starving yourself, punishing workouts, or chasing the latest diet trend. It comes down to one hormone, insulin. When insulin is high, your body is stuck in storage mode. But when you apply the right steps, protein first, carbs last, fewer overall carbs, fasting windows, a short walk after meals, and better sleep, you shift your body back into fat-burning mode. And once that switch flips, losing weight becomes easier, cravings fade, and energy returns. So here's my challenge. Try this insulin trick for just seven days. Track how you feel when you wake up, notice your cravings, and see what happens to your belly fat and energy. You might be surprised how quickly your body responds when you work with it instead of against it. If you found this helpful, share it with a friend, leave a comment about your own experience, and subscribe for more doctor-backed strategies to stay healthy and strong after 60. I'm Dr. Thomas, and I'll see you in the next lesson.